Welcome everybody. I hope you had a great holiday, safe and healthy. Um, we talked about, uh, last time we met, we talked that we were going to do a role play and that I was gonna be the confessor and Father Ryan, who is here with us today, he is going to be um, the priest. So we are going to do a role play of the things that you were doing. Like you've been doing it with your parents now we're going to show you exactly what it's going to look like when you come to celebrate your first reconciliation. Okay? Alrighty. So again, when you um, meet with Father, I'm going, I'm going to go back to the, the pew or wherever we're going to sit. We're going to stop. But when you meet with Father, make sure you look him in the eye and you speak loudly and clearly when you speak with Father. And um, as I've talked to you in the past, make sure you have a couple of things that you wanna to talk to him about because Father is not going to rush you along because he doesn't, he doesn't want you to be nervous. He wants you to be um, excited and happy. So he will just wait for you. So if you're not saying anything, he's just gonna sit there and wait. So you wanna make sure before you go to confession that you are thinking about some of the things that you want to talk to him about before you even go to confession so that you're ready and prepared. And then when you're done, don't forget to tell him, I think I'm finished, Father, or I've done, I, you know, these are all the sins I cannot remember. Um, or you can just simply say, I'm done. You know, don't get tangled up with the exact words and all of that. Just talk to him. Just talk to him. It's like you're talking to God. Okay? All right, so we're going to begin. And again, you've been practicing your act of contrition. You will, um, you know, you have it with you. You will probably do it as a, a group the first time, but you've been practicing, so you're ready to, to roll, even if you don't. And if you need to bring it with you, go ahead and do so. It's not a problem. So just relax and enjoy, because you're going to feel so happy when you're done. Just like a weight's been lifted, just like you do when, when you're in trouble and you finally admit to your parents what you did and they still love you and everybody's happy again. You're going to feel that warmth and happiness and love when you're all done. And you're going to know what it's like so that you'll be able to continue to come um, over and over and over again. Okay? So when you make your first confession, remember we talked about blessing yourself when you say it. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. This is my first confession. That's what you're going to say. But from here on in, after you make your first confession, you're not going to say, this is my first confession every time. You're going to say, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been two months or two weeks since my last confession. Okay? All right, so we're gonna start while you're at the pew. All right, so you will begin because you will be sitting and waiting your turn and um, examining your conscience and thinking in your mind what sins that you're going to talk to Father about, okay? And when it's your turn, you reverently, that means you think about God and you don't just skip or run. You fold your hands and you walk up to Father and you introduce yourself. Hi, Father, I'm Joanne Drummond. Hi, Joanne, good to see you. Thank you. Have a seat. All righty. Okay. Welcome, it's great to see you, and why don't we begin? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. This is my first confession. Congratulations, very good. You may begin. Thank Whenever you. you're ready. Okay. Um, well, I don't always listen to my mom. She asks me to do something, but sometimes I'm busy, so I just pretend like I don't hear her, and I keep watching the end of my show or playing the end of my game, or, and then she gets mad at me, and it, it gets into a big fight. Um, and, well... Then also, my brother got this really cool game for Christmas, mm -hmm. and I wanted to play it, and he said no. Mm -hmm. So when he wasn't looking, I took it anyway, mm -hmm. and I, I was playing with it, and then I got caught, and we got in a big fight, and it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Mm 
Anything else? Um, no, I, th I, think, I think that's it. I, I think that's all I can think of right now. I'm sorry for these and all the sins I cannot remember. Okay. Well, Joanne, that was a good confession. When you did these things, did you feel bad when you did them? Um, not at first because I wanted to finish watching my movie or mm -hmm. playing that game, but then when I got in trouble, I really sure. was not feeling good. And then you knew that was wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Well, that's very good. And I just want to let you know that God loves you very much. And to always remember to never be afraid to admit to God that you've sinned because he sees it anyway. God always can see you. And with your parents, remember it's very important to love and to obey your parents because God gives us parents as a, to represent himself. So our first relationship with God, our first chance to obey God and to obey his commandments comes through our parents. And your parents love you very much. Your parents want the best for you. And so it's very important to, to listen to them. And that makes God very happy. And also remember that there are things that we want. You know, when we see a, a piece of food that we like or we see something that we want to play, uh, it's always good to remember that if that belongs to someone else, it's not good to take that. Yes. Think of something that you own that's very special to you. Would you like if somebody came and, and took that? I wouldn't like it, but he's done it to me, too. Sure, well, you know, maybe he's next <laughs> in the confessional line. But always remember um, that to remember that when you do these things, when you take something or when you disobey your parents, God can see that. And to always imagine that Jesus is with you and... Would you still do these things if God was right next to you, if, if Jesus was right next to you watching you, mm -hmm. right? So it's always remember that to listen to that good voice in your head that says, don't do that. And, um, and in the end, it may not satisfy you right then, but you will grow from that and you'll be a better person, okay? Okay. Okay, so Julianne, so what I want you to do is to say for your penance when you leave, here, I want you to say one Hail Mary when you go back to your pew, okay? Okay. And now read for me the act of contrition. Okay. My God, I am sorry for all my sins with all my heart. In choosing to do wrong and failing to do good, I have sinned against you, whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend with your help to do penance, to sin no more, and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Amen. Amen. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace, and I absolve you from your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Go in peace, Joanne. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Have a good day. So now I am going back to my pew. And I will say my one Hail Mary. So I very quietly put the pew down, the kneeler down, and I kneel correctly. No slouching, no arms, my hands are folded, and I quietly say the Hail Mary to myself. bless myself and I gently put the kneeler back up and I wait for my classmates to make their reconciliation um, I might want to say a prayer for my family for my um, other classmates that they also have a beautiful day and a nice confession and that they feel as happy and wonderful as you do right now and that they feel God's love. So do not forget, now, just so that you know, the act of contrition you have, um, you're allowed to take it with you. You saw that I did. If you want to, you can take it with you. 
Um, when you go into the confessional or when you go to speak with Father, uh, when you're face to face in a church, uh, or you can just say it if you've been practicing and you're comfortable enough to do that. Sometimes we've talked, remember we talked about a communal penance service where everybody says it together beforehand. You know, Father may choose to do that too before we even get started. So just be prepared either way you're ready to go. Okay? Okay. And we want to thank Father for uh, doing this role play with us. And we want to thank um, Erica Galvin for taping it for us. And we also want to remember, I know I've said this, but just remember, we want to speak loudly and clearly because we will all have masks on because of this COVID situation. So please make sure that you look Father in the eye and you speak loudly and clearly. If you don't, because you're going to be far apart from each other and you're going to have a mask on and you have a tiny voice because you're just growing. So you need to really, really, feels like you're yelling, but don't, don't worry, you're not, okay? All right, have a great week, everyone, and we will come together again next week for a quick video. Have a great week. Nice to see everyone. Bye-bye.